Costco, Sam's Club. You know these wholesale club names. You either love them or you haven't been in either one of them. <laughs> just kidding, just kidding. But the question is, do you know the ins and outs of their credit card offerings? Let's find out. Welcome back to Tito's Financial Corner, where we talk about credit cards, points and miles, as well as travel. Today, we'll be taking a look at the Costco Anywhere Visa Card by City versus the Sam's Club MasterCard. These are your main options, and often they're touted to be acquired, especially when you have a membership with either of these two wholesale clubs, just because it would offer you the ability to earn more points back on your normal everyday transactions that you would make at either of these clubs. So the question is, which one is better? Well, you know what we do in this channel. We're gonna throw these two cards in the ring and let them have it for a good six to seven rounds, and by the end, we'll see which one comes out victorious. Let's go. The first round consists on annual fees. As you already know, and as we covered on this channel plenty of times, a lot of the credit card offerings have annual fees. Now, I am happy to say that both these two credit cards do not have an annual fee. So just for that, both of them will get a point. Next, we'll be talking about the welcome bonus that both of these credit cards offer, starting with the Costco credit card. That's right, I'm not gonna go through the full name. We're gonna call them the Costco credit card and the Sam's Club credit card. Starting with the Costco credit card, they do not have any kind of welcome bonus offer as of this recording. Whereas with the Sam's Club credit card, they do have a great welcome sign up bonus of $30. That's right, a full $30. You would get a $30 credit after spending $30 within the first 30 days. You know what their lucky number is now. So again, it's, it's not the biggest welcome bonus that we've ever seen, but with the fact that at least it offers some kind of credit back, it does earn them a victory on this round. Quick note to know, there is a Sam's Club credit card and a Sam's Club MasterCard credit card. The biggest difference is that the MasterCard is able to be utilized outside of Sam's Club and Walmart, whereas with the Sam's Club credit card can only be utilized at those two locations. So again, if you are a Sam's Club member, just make sure you get the correct credit card. And in most cases, you should probably go for the MasterCard if you are torn between the two of them. Round number three will consist of the membership costs. Now, we already covered there's no annual fee for either of these two credit cards. But in order to really get the most of these two credit cards, you would have to have a membership with their specific wholesale club. So, looking at Costco, their Gold Star membership starts at $60 per year, and their Gold Star Executive membership starts at $120 per year. Looking at Sam's Club, their club membership would start at $45 per year, and then their plus membership, which is their higher tier membership status, would be $100 per year. So taking a look at both of these membership fees, we would definitely have to give this round to Sam's Club just because they offer the cheaper membership prices and also they do run promotions where the annual membership fee is actually lower than these. Last year, my wife and I got the membership at Sam's Club for literally $8 for the whole year. So there are options of getting the membership fee for a lower price. Whereas with Costco, I do believe that it is pretty much set and they don't really run any discounts. But if I'm wrong, please let me know in the comments below. Then we get to the rewards that both of these credit cards offer. Now we are gonna break them down into different categories just because as you'll see, they do have different options even though they're kind of twin cards and they kind of look and perform the same way but you'll see what I mean here shortly. Starting with the rewards that you would get if you would have the beginner tier membership. With Costco and their Gold Star membership, you would be able to get 2% back on all of your transactions at Costco. Whereas with Sam's Club, with their club membership, you would only get 1% back with their credit card. So taking a look at both of these options, Costco would take this round. The next round would consist on the rewards that you would get if you would go up for their higher tier membership with both wholesale clubs. Starting with Costco, you would get 4% back on your transactions, you would get 2% back for your membership, and then an additional 2% back for the credit card. Whereas with Sam's Club, you would get 5% back on your transactions. You would get 3% back because of the credit card, and then 2% back because of the membership. 
So looking at these two, Sam's Club would take this round by offering a higher percentage back on their transactions. The next category is rewards on gas purchases as well as EV charging stations. Starting with the Costco credit card, you would get 4% back on those transactions, whereas with a Sam's Club credit card, you would get 5% back on those transactions. Taking a look at both of these credit cards, Sam's Club would win this round. The next round would consist on rewards that you would get back for travel transactions. Starting with a Costco credit card, you would get 3% back on travel purchases. That would include airfare, hotels, car rentals, as well as cruise line transactions, and obviously any Costco travel transactions. Whereas with a Sam's Club credit card, you would only get back 1% back on those transactions. Taking a look at both of these credit cards, this round would definitely have to go to the Costco credit card. The next round would consist on rewards that you would get back for dining. Now, I'm happy to say that for both of these credit cards, you would be able to get 3% back on all of those transactions. So with that said, both of these credit cards would get a point for this round. Quickly though, talking about both of these wholesale clubs, I do believe that Costco's pizza is way better than Sam's Club pizza, and I would love to debate anybody on that topic. The next round would consist on redemptions for both of these credit cards. Now with both of them, you would have the option to redeem your cash rewards for either cash transactions or merchandise transactions. So for that, both credit cards would get a point for this round. The last round would consist on caps that either of these two credit cards have. Starting with the Costco credit card, I did search their website and all I could find is that they do not have a cap on how much cashback or rewards you would be able to get per year or if there's a limit. Whereas with the Sam's Club credit card, there is a specific limit that you would be able to get every year and that is $5,000. And that would also include if you have either just a regular membership or if you have a couple of different memberships. They have a cap of $5,000 for every single year. So taking a look at both of these credit cards, this round would definitely have to go to the Costco credit card. All right, so let's tell you out the points for both of these credit cards. Starting with the Costco credit card, they won six points. Whereas with the Sam's Club credit card, they won seven points. So that's right, for this video, the Sam's Club credit card won by the skin of their teeth. So does that mean that all of you should go and get the Sam's Club credit card? No, absolutely not. It all depends on the membership that you have with either of these two wholesale clubs, or if you have a membership with a different club altogether. But they are great to have. They can help you earn more rewards specifically on all of your transactions, whether that's at Sam's Club or at Costco. With that said, I definitely want to know, do you have either of these two credit cards? Did you love them? Did you hate them? What kind of feedback do you have on these two credit cards? With that said, if you found any information useful during this video, please hit that subscribe button as well as that like button. Thank you, and I hope to see you in the next one. Adios.